And President Bola Tinubu has been reacting to the attempted coup in Niger. He has sent out a warning that the economic community of West African states will not accept any action that impedes the smooth functioning of legitimate authority in Niger or any part of West Africa. He says the leadership of the ECOWAS region and all lovers of democracy around the world will not tolerate any situation that incapacitates the democratically elected government of the country. I am being joined by a professor of international relations and strategic studies, David Awarawo, to discuss the Niger Republic issues. Uh, good to have you join us. Thank you for having me. So, Prof, once again, um, a West African country and um, a former French colony is embroiled in um, an attempted coup. Does this come to you as a surprise or were there indications that this was going to happen? Well, uh, it came to me a bit as a surprise because just on a few days ago when uh, ECOWAS leaders met, um, the question of uh, democratic governance and, uh, you know, uh, condemnation of coups was uh, a topical issue. And so for any group of persons to think of, you know, plotting a coup just a few days after that, made it a bit surprising to me. But when one looks at the trend of things in West Africa since 2020, where we had had coups in Burkina Faso, in Guinea, in Mali, and two attempted coups, one in Gambia and one in uh, Guinea-Bissau. One is not really surprised uh, entirely because, uh, I mean, West Africa is now, uh, you know, uh, uh, accepting the odious distinction of being the coup bet of, of Africa, uh, which is uh, very concerning. So in some way, it is surprising because only a few days ago it was, I mean, strong condemnation of coups, and not so surprising because that's been the trend in West Africa mm. since 2020. And even more concerning, Prof, you will agree, is the fact that Niger plays a very pivotal role in, in the fight against insurgency in the Sahel. How badly will political instability in Niger complicate um, that fight against insurgency? Uh, it will. It certainly will. Um, insurgency thrives when there is instability. And this, these are the kind of things that will encourage insurgents to work strong and, uh, you know, become more violent, thinking that the instability would uh, enable them to achieve their objectives. Uh, we saw what happened in uh, Chad the other time when uh, uh, the president was, uh, was killed, uh, how it destabilized, you know, Chad and then reduced the capacity of Chad to join other West African countries uh, to fight uh, insurgency. So... Uh, yeah, it is concerning along that line because when there is instability, insurgents will think that they, would, uh, they are having the upper hand and that will aid the objective to, you know, to, to wreak, wreak havoc uh, in the territories where they operate. Mm. And President Bola Tunubu, who is the, also the, the, the chairman of the ECOWAS Heads of States and Governments, is talking tough, but perhaps the toughest we've heard from any of the presidents of ECOWAS. But when you look at you know, the precedents on how ECOWAS have handled previous uh, previous coups in West Africa, do you think that ECOWAS will be able to achieve anything in terms of bringing stability to um, Niger and other countries who are embroiled in, in a coup? Uh, ECOWAS will, to be fair. Uh, we know how nation states operate, uh, sovereignty and all that, you know, have their internal control of their affairs. So it's always difficult for uh, international organizations to, uh, they can only do as much as far as uh, uh, trying to uh, influence things positively is concerned. Um, we, we, we know what, what happened to Mali, how much sanction uh, you know, Mali faced, and how that shifted things to some extent in Mali. Uh, the strong position that ECOWAS has maintained, the, 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 the comments that uh, President Tinubu has made, and then calling other leaders, you know, um, is already... All right, thank you so much for talking to us, Professor um, David. All right, I understand his back. Let's just take your last, you, you were making, let's allow you round up. You were making that comment there about ECOWAS. Yes, that ECOWAS will make an impact. The coup will not likely be successful, and ECOWAS intervention will be a major factor in this. Mm. We'll see how, how the role that ECOWAS will play interesting days ahead um, in Niger and other parts of West Africa. Thank you so much for talking to us as always. Professor of International Relations and Strategic Studies, David Awarawa.